it's a big thing for me obviously being Scottish. This is my home company and my national company and it's what I've known since I was 13 years old so it's a dream of mine to be involved with Scottish Ballet anyway. And I managed to go down to London for the photo shoot and be involved with other dancers from the other national companies here in Britain. Um, it, was, uh, it was a great opportunity. Sports people and dancers they have very intense training, as I'd imagine um, any athlete would have to have. It's um, very physical and it's very intense work. Even if you've been doing a three minute solo and it's very high powered and it's very aerobic, you might have a moment where you don't do anything. And that moment, you can't sit there and pant and you know, you still have to look cool and relax. So this takes a lot of control. That's basically part and parcel of trying to make it look easy. You train every day and you know there's always something to work towards. We have to be consistent all the time. Whereas obviously with an athlete, you know, they're working towards a certain championship or tournament. I was a big sports when I was school, I love sports. I did uh, gymnastics for a year when I was in high school. My dance teacher actually said it would be good for me as well for flexibility and also for strength. This is where we do our conditioning, sometimes for strength, sometimes for flexibility. Especially when we come back from injury, you can do so many different exercises, whether it's going to help you to jump or how you're lifting. You always have to watch your back and how you lift, like with anything. This really helps you find the strength and the stability. We use these machines just to keep yourself on tip-top form.